Be sure to use code R8TD for a 10% discount. Visit the links in the description below. What's going on guys, it's Raided here and welcome back to my channel and today I have the best way you can level up within Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now many of you guys have been requesting to see Zombies videos return here on my channel and today I thought I'd bring you guys a really cool rank up method and if you guys do go ahead and enjoy today's video then definitely leave a like down below and make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a future upload. If you missed out on my previous video, be sure to go check it out, I actually opened up a ton of supply drops within Call of Duty black ops 3 multiplayer guys with that said let's begin so you're gonna have to start up shadows of evil of course if you have double xp that's gonna come in very handy as you were gonna be earning double the amount of xp and pretty much leveling up double the amount of speed that it usually would take to actually level up within call of duty black ops 3 zombies but first of all you want to go and follow what i do right now you want to buy the rk5 straight off the bat and you will have enough points to buy the rk5 and what you want to do is go ahead and proceed to shoot the shadow man so you skip to round 15. Now as you can see right now, I'm going ahead and shooting the shadow man. I get put up to round 10, then I go ahead and shoot him again until it's round 15. And once that's done, what we're going to be doing is heading straight into the junction as you are going to be seeing here in a second. So now we are on round 15, you guys can head straight inside of the junction and you want to take a left straight through the canal district as you can see me do right now. You then want to proceed to follow exactly where I go uh, straight through the canal district and you want to be following exactly where I do all the time and the main reason behind this is because we're going to be opening as many doors as we can from the money that we just got from the shadow man. What we're going to do is buy every single door as much as possible and then we're going to go ahead and go into beast mode as we reach this location right here. Now what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to wait until our beast mode is pretty much really near the end and we want to wait until it's at the, at the point where we have around one second left. And once we have one second left, we're going to zap the electric meter right here. Uh, but before we do that, you will notice that there's a ton of zombies piling up right outside. We want to make sure not to kill any of them while you are in beast mode. Once that's done, you can then proceed to go down these stairs and follow exactly where I go back to the junction. And once you are inside of the junction, you can then go ahead and head over to the waterfront district. Now once you are here at the waterfront district, you want to go ahead and buy the Cuda. You want to swap it out for the Bloodhound. And then you want to go exactly where I go and buy this door to the waterfront district yet again. And you want to go up these stairs right here. And once you are at these stairs, what you can go ahead and do is take out as many zombies as you can uh, before they actually do come running at you. And then you want to go ahead and open the door as fast as possible. You then want to proceed to buy the M8A7 and then go ahead and take out all the zombies while standing next to this door. Now once you are standing next to this gate and the zombies pretty much swarm you, what you want to do is open it up and then drop straight down and then we're going to be heading back to the junction. Now while we are on our way to the junction, you don't want to kill any zombies whatsoever, but now we're going to be heading over to the Footlight District, as you can see me doing right now. I'm actually going to open the door once I am at the Footlight District, and then you want to follow exactly where I go, and you want to follow this path so we can maximise uh, this method to its full potential. And if you guys didn't already know, when you go ahead and open doors, it actually allows us to get Liquid Divinium as well, and it also allows us to rank up. So you want to buy as many doors as possible, but once you are at the location, I'm at right now pretty much we have opened every single door and it's taken us around three minutes in total but what you can do to finish it off is follow exactly where I go and just kill the last of the zombies until you pretty much die now once you do die you can then restart and do this over and over again for pretty much an unlimited source of XP within Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombies now many of you guys are probably thinking yes this took us three minutes but we only got around 11,000 XP now if you go ahead and add this all up, you can gain around 100,000 XP per hour and if you are using a double XP promotion code, you can go ahead and get a whopping 200,000 XP every single hour. So this is of course going to level you up the fastest way within Call of Duty Black Ops 3. But that's pretty much what I got for you guys in this video. Like I did say, check out my previous video if you haven't already and if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I probably will be giving away a copy of Black Ops 3 here on my channel so if we manage to smash 
smash out 300 likes. I promise you guys I'll bring you that giveaway. But well, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you have a great day. And until next time, I am out. Peace.